How the hell y'all doing? Clifford the Doorway to do another one of those reviews you love oh so much. Today's Sunday, May 19th, 2024. Uh, this album came out on Friday. I've been listening to it for weeks. Disclaimer, Adam and I are buddies. Signed to the same record label. Talk all the time. Gave me this new record that he put out by himself. And I'm reviewing it. Uh, the album is called A Docket of votive offerings the album is called salt on sunday no goddamn clue why it's called salt on sunday i've never bothered to ask them but i think i'm going to now uh interesting name interesting band uh he decided to put this out himself if you know who adam brian is uh he was is in pando and also does cave dweller uh he's got another project coming out too on aesthetic deck like myself uh, called Unfold uh, and uh, or Unfolded, uh, and uh, we'll see what that is when it comes out. I already know, but I'm not going to tell you guys. Uh, anyway, this is eight songs long. Uh, all right, here comes my explanation. It's a one-man project, but imagine if the Foo Fighters stole early Melvin sound and decided that they wanted to be signed to Touch and Go, and they had a love of Caius. Uh, so yeah, you ready? It's gonna be fuzzy, stoner, post-rock, noise rock, meets indie rock, uh, all mixed together. Uh, it is uh, creative, interesting, and different, and literally, it sounds like if the Foo Fighters decided to sign a touch and go or, or, or something along those lines. Uh, and had a super big love of uh, the Melvins and of like Jesus Lizard and Big Black and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, we're gonna listen to a couple of songs off of Salt on Sunday. The album again is called A Docket of Votive Offerings. It's out digitally on Bandcamp right now. We're gonna listen to the very first song on the record. It's called uh, Janara, and here we go. got kind of a nasty black metal tone but man that's coming straight out of like baroness or clutch's closet trying to be nasty or dirty or in a little bit metal uh but anyway you can hear what i'm talking about like let's listen to another track off of uh salt on sunday we are going to go to track number three which is one hell of a tongue tying title it is everything is numb and I can no longer tell the difference between time.
and tell me this doesn't sound like a more pissed off version if you mix the Foo Fighters, the Melvins, and like Jesus Lizard together, and they were just putting a band together, and they decided, you know what, we're going to do a little more throaty vocals, but other than that, we're going to just play what we love. Uh, again, the band's name is Salt on Sunday. It's a one-man project by Brian, or sorry, by Adam. Wow. I mixed his last name into his first name. Pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, Adam uh, of Pando and Cave Dweller. Uh, the album is called A Docket of Votive Offerings. Uh, the album cover is pretty damn cool, too. Uh, it kind of gives me this, like, 1970s, like, going to church vibe. I don't know, man. It's just pretty cool. Uh, anyway, we're going to listen to one more song and wrap this up. Again, came out on Friday digitally through Bandcamp, uh, self-released by Brian, uh, by, ah, damn, by Adam. Uh, keep looking at his last name and it's Dean. Uh, anyway, uh, we are going to listen to track number seven just because the song title is fucking phenomenal. Hey, hi, will write my obituary. Adam, mm, chef's kiss on that goddamn title. Anyway, here we go. Let's listen to another song and we'll wrap it up with Salt on Sunday. <laughs> on this one but i don't care this is like if slint decided that they wanted to play black metal a la burzum and zazzar uh a lot of it feels like noisy post-rock noise rock post-rock mixed with fuzzed out doom or fuzzed out black metal uh salt on sunday uh if there's anything in this world just knowing Adam, this pretty much feels like when we have conversations, we go all over the place. 
about everything and anything, and that's what this band is. It's a mixture of everything that he loves. You can just hear it. Anyway, you'd be an asshole not to get this. So go to Bandcamp and pick it up. Uh, I mean, everything he does is cool. This is really goddamn interesting. Uh, this is like taking Pando to the next level for me. Uh, anyway, if you like this kind of stuff, I will leave links to his Bandcamp and social media. Uh, if you uh, like what I do, please like and subscribe to the Doorway 2 magazine on Instagram, YouTube, BitChute, and Rumble. Till next time, this is Clint from the Doorway 2, rambling his ass off today on a Sunday. Until next time, I'll see you.